Coming up next, Dan and Fiona will review all-purpose cultural cat girl, Nuku Nuku. Take it away, Dan. Thanks, guys. How do you do? I'm Daniel Snyder. This is my hat, Fiona. This episode, I picked a real winner to tell you guys about, and that's all-purpose cultural cat girl, Nuku Nuku. Yep, you heard that, right? I'm sure it sounds much more mellifluous in the original Japanese, but with a name like Nuku Nuku, it has to be good. You won't be disappointed. The plot is this. Um, genius scientist Kyosaku Natsume realizes that his marriage to Akimo Mishima, um, who's the very wealthy granddaughter of a heavy industry CEO, is going absolutely nowhere. On top of that, his inventions are being used for military hardware. So he takes his, their son Ryunosuke with him, and he flees. In the course of their escape, Ryunosuke tries to adopt a stray cat. Um, unfortunately, the cat is fatally wounded in an accident involving their truck, a pile of junked automobiles, and two psychotic office ladies in a Huey. Yep, you heard that right, too. To win back his son's love and trust, Ryunosuke decides to put the um, cat's brain into a prototype cyborg body he's brought with him from work. Um, thus is born Nuku Nuku, part death machine, part house cat, created to protect Rinosuke from any danger that might befall him. Now, what might this danger involve? This movie is definitely an A movie, in case you couldn't guess by now. It couldn't have been done any better. Not only did I find it incredibly funny and genuinely entertaining, but, and I know my parents are going to go ballistic when they hear this, I found it educational by showing us the ultimate j dysfunctional Japanese family, um, the creature with the brains of a cat and the body of a high school girl, the blood and guts grandfather, the uh, neurotic mother, the um, psychotic office ladies, and poor Ryunosuke, who's caught there in the middle of the whole thing and trying to be as normal as possible given the circumstances. The directors actually point up what Japanese social standards and perceptions are. You could almost watch this as a kind of a high satire, almost being the critical word. So, cartoon violence, a little bit of cheesecake, and some very bad jokes. If you haven't guessed already, Go out and rent this one. Nuku Nuku has got pointy teeth. Nuku Nuku thinks fish are a treat. Nuku Nuku got brains of a cat. All purpose. What's up with that? Dun, 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 dun.